Hi guys and welcome. If you're interested of how to build your own landing page, this video is definitely for you because today I want to show you the platform that allows you to make that happen really, really fast and very easy. Um, without an extra effort, it's actually, and you don't need to learn coding, you don't need to learn the web design and, and so other knowledges to build your own landing page because it's very and very uh, convenient place to make that happen. Before I've started, I want to say that our team left the link in the description panel of this video and you can easily get access to this platform straight from this video. You just need to find you know, the link in the description. And, um, you know, I saw those uh, tutorials like two hour long video about how to build your own landing page. I don't want to waste your time. That's why I'll try to make this video as short as possible with maximum value to show you all the information that you need to build your own landing page. So let's go forward. First step that you need to take is to uh, click the link in the description panel of this video and then click start a free trial. After that, the platform will ask you to choose a plan. There are three plans, standard, pro and advanced. It depends on the uh, type of your business, of your needs, like one site, three sites or up to 50 sites. Uh, it's up to you actually to choose, but you have 14 day trial version and um, all the functionality is on uh, within this 14 days and it's enough space to build everything up. Uh, and if you don't like the platform, you can always switch off the uh, your plan. So let's jump into the dashboard and i will show you how easy it is to build your own landing page that how it looks from inside the list of uh, all um, uh, landing pages landing pages sites depends on uh, which what you want to build big site or landing page uh, conversion tools leads brand images lead magnets integrations domains and support uh, this like the main menu and you need to create a new landing page here you'll see that there are tons of interesting and very uh, professional built templates that are pre-made for you and you just need to customize them a little bit and that's it and it's like ready to go now you can sort it by conversion rate most popular newest page type uh industry what's very interesting uh, and uh, style and color so um, editing features are pretty the same and i will show it to you and let's start building just this um on this example this is a uh, name of the page and you can change it later it doesn't matter for the case and uh, this is actually the editor what do we have here layout sections widget styles and setting Lead matter, this cool widget that shows how your uh, page will convert uh, your visitors to your customers. It's very useful when you're building something from scratch. Um, so redo, undo, preview all the pages, all the sites that you can build on this platform are mobile friendly, are adoptable for any platform. Uh, so that's also a cool feature because a lot of the traffic flows nowadays from uh, mobile devices and uh, you need to make sure that everything is work properly on both on desktop version and on mobile version. So let's go forward. Layout, hero and footer. There's two sections. Every Everything uh, on any platform built with the sections, with the blocks and if you need more sections, you can add a section straight from here. It can be about, it can be call to action, it can be contact us, and a lot of different things already pre-built. Uh, if you didn't found the template of a section that suits for you, you can choose uh, any of those blank templates. And you see, drop here, drop here. Let's drop it here. What can you also do with the section itself? When you're gonna press this three dots button, you'll see that you can edit section settings, add section buffer below, duplicate, copy, or delete. I wanna delete this section. We're jumping back to layout and we see hero, footer, and the blank one. 
uh, I want this footer to be on the bottom of the list. So I'm just grabbing it right here and placing it to the spot where it needed to be. Now we can see that we have no background here. It's totally white. And as I showed you, you press in the three dots button and you can add it session settings. You can apply some color here. This one, for example, and you can change the size of a block itself. You see. All right. Let it be like that. And widgets. The next button is widgets and there are a lot of them. But if you're going to press show less, those eight is pretty enough to build your landing page. So it's drag and drop. I want the video to be here. Button. I want a button to be here. Uh, and I don't like the shape of it. You remember that we have two columns and, and you see the divider. If you grab this one and slide it to the shape that you want. Okay, let it be like that. And I want the button to be mm, like in the center of this block. I'm grabbing a spacer. I'm dropping it here and resizing the spacer. And that's it. That's pretty it. Okay, showed you that. Uh, when you're hovering over the um, over the picture, you see all those pencil buttons in almost each elements, except the spacers. You have this pencil button, and you can edit everything with this pencil button. Uh, text is pretty pretty simple. I will not show you how to edit the text because it's silly. Uh, probably you know how to type on the keyboard and you know how to edit the text. But the most important part is actually mm, those interactive uh, interactive elements, buttons and forms. And that's how you interact with your uh, audience, with your visitors. And the main thing is to switch them on and to edit the click event. What does it mean? When somebody will press the button, what's going to happen? No link option. And this is inactive button. Open a pop up. You can create new pop up or you can select from the uh, from the list of available if you're using a template. And we are gonna edit the pop up itself. This is one of the most important things that you can uh, that you can make on your website. Why? Because um, in general, the main purpose of any landing page is to get the contact information from the visitor. That's why that's why you need to edit integrations. First uh, step is how you're going to get new lead notification. Uh, in this case, you're going to get it to your uh, inbox of your email or you can switch on. You can integrate uh, one of the one of the impressive and very powerful tools like MailChimp, GetResponse, ConvertKit, ActiveCampaign, all of the all of them are uh, almost all of them are email marketing tools with a CRM with uh, sales funnels. And this is really and really huge. And if you don't want to buy one of those uh, one of those plans for those tools, you can integrate everything with the Zapier and look at that. There are tons of options that you can use to uh, actually integrate to your uh, to your account, uh, to integrate to your landing page or website and everything's going to work properly. If you don't have a lot of leads, um, big quantity of new leads, it can be enough to to get it to your email. But if you want to grow your business, definitely you need to use the CRM and you need to use the email marketing tools. You see that there's only email. The second step is fields and you can add a field here. For example, I need the first name of a person who will uh, type in their email. And with this arrows, we're switching them to the order that we need. You can add more fields, uh, but actually people are lazy. Uh, let's add just to show you done. And you see uh, that lead matter is already not excellent, but good because people are lazy and they don't want to fulfill all those 
not phone number, email, address, and so on. Um, it needs to be simple. Uh, so less fields, more clients. All right. First name and email is pretty enough. And actions, what's going to happen actually when somebody will provide you with an information and will press like submit or I want a coupon or some. Yeah, in this case, I want the coupon code. Uh, and you can add a lead magnet. You can add like PDF with that uh, coupon code straight here. Uh, you can remain on page, external URL, landing page. Uh, for example, if you build external landing page to say thank you to the people who provided you with an information, you can switch it on or it can be default lead pages. Thank you page external URL. If um, it can be handy for e-commerce when you make an upsells uh, or cross sales and so on. So this is very and very important. Uh, and I just wanted to show you how to make that happen. All right, let's edit this, uh, this section. Let's go to layout. And we see that we have a hero section and we go into section styles and there's an image. This is yoga and you can change image. Uh, you can use the images that you uploaded previously for, for previous projects. You can buy uh, pictures straight from here. You can make a purchase and, and there's high quality stock photo and it's um, $8 per photo. Or you can upload what I suggest you to do. It's upload from your computer. If you have your own content, you can upload it straight uh here okay the beautiful girls are there and you see that the picture is pretty sharp pretty colorful uh, and we need it we need it to be a little bit less visible so you can apply image color overlay and this is really fantastic you see it's 49 percent opacity uh, but let's add a new color or we're gonna change the opacity here yeah, the color is similar to, to the color of the button, but we change in the opacity. And the girls are still there and you can see them. They're pretty visible. And the style of the page is like a blue color. And that's great. And this is very interesting feature. So uh, you can use this image color overlay to any, uh, any type of uh, pictures that you have here. You see, this is everything. Everything is pretty simple. Let's check the minimum height automatically. 50, 75, 90. Okay, I want it to be full. Yeah, great. Look at that. That's great. Uh, I told you about the divider. You can reshape the things as you wish. Just as you wish. Maybe you want this. Uh, shape maybe you want um, other shape so you can get totally customized uh, landing page within the minutes uh, if you have a content if you have text if you have um, pictures to upload and uh, the main thing as I told you already is to edit the click event and to take care in the styles here you get you have the page background and you can change font style straight from here but the most important part is the settings seo definitely you need your web page to be visible to search engine machines if not you need to switch on the flag i don't want search engines to index this page you need to type in the page title page description, page keywords, and all the uh, all the other information. Social, if you want to share the link to your landing page um, to some Facebook, for example, that how it will be displayed in Facebook. So you need to take care about that. Also, analytics, definitely important thing, because uh, if you're running a business or you're just starting to um, or you're planning to start, you need to have analytical information uh, to make wise decisions about your business language you can switch the language so guys i showed you everything that you need to use uh, and i hope this was useful i hope that you enjoyed uh, and i hope that you will use our link in the description panel of this video 
to jump to this platform and to make your first landing page or website to build it by your own because it's really really simple and easy i wish you good luck in your business ideas i wish you good luck uh, with uh, your landing page and with maybe your big site join have some fun in this process and uh, i wish you big profits that's what i wanted to say thank you so much all the useful links are under this video in the description panel Take care and bye-bye.